right, here we are in a beautiful Thousand Oaks area of California. Late in the morning, getting a little bit warm. Beautiful 1932 Ford Roadster, the real deal. This is a very period hot rod, nicely done. Remarkable 70 plus year owner history dating back to 1948. Walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. All 1932 Ford body steel, that type of thing. Finished in beautiful jet black. As we go around with this one, I don't have a lift, but I don't really need one. So I'm gonna cover the undercarriage and things as we cruise along here. Rumble seat, late 1950s Ford plug-in axles, Halibrand quick change rear end with 348 and 411 gears. We get up front, it's a lot of fun too. You kind of saw me pass by that underneath the hood. Beautiful floor pans on this one, finished nicely done. Very much an exquisite hot rod style restoration on this one with beautiful body lines. Deluxe Champion Firestones on it, 82015s. Take a look at the body components here. This is all factory stuff. The interior is all done in an authentic style with leather upholstery. We get around to the driver's side and we'll cover that some with the Auburn Dash. 1948 to 1952 Ford F1 steering box. Hairpin, dropped axle up front, chrome drilled. Guide 682C Diamond T truck headlamps. Anyway, underneath the hood here is a 258 cubic inch flathead V8 with some really nice goodies on it. I've got my cheat sheet here. I'm going to cover it for you. It's a 200 plus horsepower 258 CID flathead V8. The entire rotating assembly has been balanced. A lot of these specs will have at Spud's Garage, but I want to cover the big stuff here. Uh, Donna Roscoe's Arden overhead valve cylinder heads on it, topped by a SCOT Scott blower. Oil filter assembly there. Not many of these around. Thixton. Air filter housing. Dual Strombergs up prop here. Beautiful. Can you take it all in? Again, I'll have all the specs at Spud's Garage, but early speed stuff. Started instantly here after sitting a few months. The water pumps have recently been done, redone. It has a dual pulleys because of the blower on it or the supercharger. Depends on who you want to. Vertex Magneto up front here. And we'll fire it up here for you and throughout the video we'll have running on it up front here. Tires on it are uh, Firestones tubeless 560 16s up front. Beautiful. Really nice set of uh, Kenmont safe stop brakes up front here. So early speed equipment is really getting hard to find and this has a lot of nice early stuff on it. These guide lamps, you can tell these are definitely originals, they're not repops because they're recessed here. Again, we'll fire it up here. 258 cubic inch. Cal vent here. The handle's not on it underneath the dash, but we wanted to show you that it was still functional there. We raised it up for you. With the Auburn dash, nobody put a handle back on it. You could. Promise we'd give you a peek at all the suspension, that kind of thing. And I may do a short section here video because that didn't come out too good, did it? Beautiful body, door shut wonderfully. Again, definition at the curtain hole and the Top stanchion there. 
door pockets here. Upholstery's done in very authentic style. Uh, brown leather, factory seat. This auburn dash is just spectacular. I have uh, this showboard here, which breaks down quite a bit on the car, and this is where we're gonna have all the uh, information. I'll go around the undercarriage and cover some more for you. The auburn dash is just absolutely beautiful. Notice the uh, boost gauge and the uh, vacuum gauge here. They've canted the gauges so they can be seen by the driver. A little, a little bit of an angle there. Eight ball shifter. Has a uh, 39 Ford Deluxe steering wheel on it. At least that's what I think I'm looking at. Transmission itself is a 39 Ford uh, three-speed transmission with Lincoln Zephyr gears in it, so synchronized gear set. First and second gear cluster. Set this back down here. Beautiful day here. Took him a while to get it in just the right shop to dial it in, wake it up, and uh, the gentleman's been here. We fired it up this morning first thing. We have a, that cold start video for you we'll share with you that's absolutely ice cold start. Back end here again. Cars like this just wow. Raise up the uh, rumble seat here for you so you kind of get a feel. Done the same way, the authentic style upholstery. Down in the well here. We have a whole host of paperwork that uh, he's got in there we're going to take photos of and cover it. A lot of nice early cars coming up right now. This one's a very special car. Uh, this particular owned it, has owned it several years. And again, we'll get into the owner's list. It's, I just don't want to make a mistake. We'll have all that written up for you at Spud's Garage. It's just inspiring. Beauty like this. I'm going to get in here and fire it up so you can hear it run. has a factory steering column here so you flip that on notice it has a mag kill switch here flip that on make sure it's in neutral but go ahead and put my foot on the clutch Gotta turn the fuel pump on we don't need a cooling fan but you'll see these auburn dash all the gauges are working it's charging it's been converted to 12 volt 12 volt generator on it the uh, regulators underneath the dash, oil pressures. Remember, it's still cold, about 75 pounds there. And we have not warmed it up. Keeps it low on fuel intentionally. Boost and uh, vacuum gauge over there and then back over here. Protected by mobile lubrication. A little bit of D-LAM here in the windshield.
going to get a little bit of the undercarriage here. We said we were doing some during the walk around, then we decided to come back and visit it. There's a Kenmont brakes. Very rare vintage set. Hard to find pair. Dropped axle, chromed, drilled. Forty-eight fifty-two Ford F1 steering box here. Chrome hairpins. Long tube headers on it. Been ceramic coated. Custom exhaust. Kind of get a good feel there. The undercarriage. Halibrand quick change. Look at the floor pans here. Just beautiful. Floorboards up front. We'll have more details on the axle at Spud's Garage. Beautiful. Thought we'd throw this in here as we were going along, get the end of the video here. Batteries located right there. In hairpins, these are factory frame, rail, frame rails. Another look here. There you go.